Hey, so what's going on everybody? So I had a video here I wanted to share with you guys and it is on suggested tags or metadata or keywords that you use uh, when you're uploading a YouTube video to your YouTube channel, you have the option at the bottom to put suggested tags in to your YouTube video. Now, what I'm sort of doing here is replying or responding to a vlog that I watched. And I want you guys uh, to go over and check this out if you can. I want to give a little shout out to a friend of mine. His name is Curtis Warnish. This is his channel. He calls it the CWV. Him and his girlfriend Kayla are vlogging like every day. And one thing that I can appreciate is they are consistently vlogging every day, real life. And that's great. They're being authentic. You know, this stuff is, is real life vlogging. So it's really awesome. He has a lot of great content in there. They have a lot of funny stuff. They ride four wheelers. He's got drones. He's got a really good little channel going on. And I noticed when I was watching one of the videos, he had in the uh, title, do tags even work? I can't remember who asked the question, but what they're, what they're talking about there is tags, your suggested tags or metadata in your, in your actual YouTube account when you're uploading the videos. Yes, tags work. I can't, they don't weigh like all like that heavily on your YouTube video itself. They're very helpful. What tags are is, let me jump over to my channel and guys, this is for anybody or even Kurt and Kayla, I'm just trying to, you know, from my experiences so far with my YouTube channel, just share some of the things I do. So this may be helpful to you guys. It may, may or may not be, but uh, I just wanted to share it with anybody. So if I go over here to my video manager and I'm, I'm just going to go to like one of my videos that I know has been done fairly good, not, not as good as I'd like it to do, but I have a video here. It's got about 175,000 views, but that was, you know, over about a year. You know, it'd be nice if it had about a million views, but I'm happy with that. So let me just take a look here. So, so that's where that one's at. And basically, this is probably one of my better videos. And all it is is instructions on how to reset a phone. Like what I did, though, was my title, you know, has keywords in it. Okay. And those keywords I use and, you know, down here, you put your, you come down here, you put your title in. And then, you know, I try to mimic it sort of in the first line or two in my description but maybe use other words that relate to exactly what that means like how to restore hard reset google nexus 7 2013 up here i have nexus 7 hard factory reset because there are multiple things that people search for um you know your title in combination with your description and keywords are all going to help your video show up when someone searches these keywords so like this one that says forgot pattern, that's if someone says, um, you know, Nexus 7 forgot pattern, they put that into like the Google search engine. There's a good chance my video may come up or it may not, or it may be somewhere in there, maybe a few pages down. Um, this video of mine doesn't do too bad, but this is the combination of keywords that I used. And I just basically, these keywords are what I think people would punch into the search engine like this one here that says restore nexus 7 to stock that's what i think someone may punch into the search engine. if you see if i start typing that in restore nexus 7 i'm already getting suggestions popping up here and these right here are great to actually use for keywords so you can you can actually you guys uh, you know, some of you that may be watching aren't going to use exactly what I use, but for me, I'm going to probably use these keywords in my, you know, my suggested tags because this is stuff, this is like keywords that people are searching. So that would be very helpful to associate with your video. Um, the other thing you can do is actually hit enter and search that and then come down to the bottom. And you're going to see down here it says searches related to restore Nexus 7. This is a whole bunch more uh, keywords you could use for your video. Now, mine, the, what I'm showing you here, there's my video actually that shows up in, in that list when I do search for Restore Nexus 7. And if I come back over to my YouTube channel, I probably have that in there somewhere, Restore Nexus 7, something very close to that right there, Restore Nexus 7. So it is coming back in the list, which is good. But these are keywords, these people search this stuff. So you want to use, you don't want to repeat. What you want is this end of it right here, like to each thingy, the, the different stuff, okay? That will be really helpful for you or anyone to put into the suggested tag area. Um, it's kind of 
search is relative to what people are looking for. Um, it's not always 100%. Everybody's stuff is different. My content that I'm particularly doing is just random stuff lately. Um, I do have a lot of computer stuff on there. And my computer stuff, you know, that's the key words I use. And if you're vlogging, I would think you would do something like, you might want to put your keywords, you want to use your name because you want to establish a name for yourself. And you want, you might want to put vlog, comma, space, vlogs, you know, vlogging. You just exhaust the words possibilities out and use all these suggested tags until you get a notification that says, you know, can't put any more tags in or whatever. Your, your tags are too long. So fill this up. It is really helpful. It just weighs probably a lot light, a lot more lighter on your channel. It's, it doesn't carry the whole weight of your channel. You know, it may help you get some views. Uh, a lot of stuff. One thing that carries some weight on a channel is if, if I'm going to jump over to Kurt's channel real quick here and use this particular one as an example, because do tags even work? If I, if Kurt, or myself had a hundred thousand subscribers and he simply puts that title in with no tags and uploads it there's a good chance five or six hundred people out of the one hundred thousand of his subscribers are online at the time are probably gonna watch that video which is gonna throw that video right into three hundred and one plus views right away and it may actually have five or six hundred which kinda gives it a jump start and it could actually throw it into a you know where it's trending and it starts going viral um, depends on the content too. So there's there's just a lot of factors that weigh against these titles and descriptions and things like that. And I hope some of that's kind of helpful to some of you guys. And the other thing is when you first upload your video and this this screen is empty, you're gonna see you know some suggested tags here based off of what you're pasting in to the first two. So your title and your description you know, the, it already knows it's trying to kind of place your video, categorize it. So it's going to put suggestions down here. And if you guys see the suggestions pop up and they relate to your video, then I would go ahead and use them. Sometimes it doesn't know and it puts the wrong ones or they don't relate. You probably want to not use those. But in here for vlogging, like daily stuff, I would have my name. Like I would put like daily vlogs, new vlogs, you know, things like anything that relates to vlogging life comma journal comma things that kind of run a daily thing like you know you could do a little research on it and you'll figure it out but uh i would utilize all that and fill that right up but that is one thing that matters when you're doing these when, when there's you know when you're doing youtube channels like this because um you know with me uploading this with this title i know there's a lot of people in the android world looking for this particular thing and that's how i did my title the way i did it and i relate you know i go in here again like i said the tags are what i think people are searching for in this search engine and i showed you a couple ways how to get some tags that may be helpful to you guys um or anyone else so one the other thing with this is is when you're when you upload a video you're going to see over here, there's like a triangle that goes this way and a triangle that goes that way. And it kind of looks like that at first. And that's sending it to your subscriber feed. So that's when it's really nice, you know, to have 100,000 subscribers because as that video gets to all them, they're ba boom, 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 hitting it, watching it. Your views are going up like crazy. So that gives it a big old jump start. When you are just making up any old title, which these are great titles. It's just once you get the fan base and subscribers behind you, these things are going to work great. It doesn't matter what you upload. You could upload this to 100,000 people and you're going to get a ton of views right away. So that's one thing that matters. It's just hard because this video is probably just sitting. Unless I go to Google, some of mine just, you know, some of my videos just sit. So what I'm going to do is like if I go to this whole entire title, copy and paste that into Google, it's going to come back with Kurt's channel. If I search it, there it is at the top. And because it's exact, it's just like, you know, every little piece of this matters. When you use your keyword spaces, you know, I would have, I would have that as a keyword. Like that whole thing would be a keyword. See how that comes up and it's all squished together. That would be a keyword. Um, you know, there's just multiple things you can do here. The thing is, is someone going to sit down at their computer like me and search works become enjoyable or work becomes enjoyable? Is someone going to sit down and search that? 
or are they going to search you know how you know how to how to fix my phone or you know you guys get the idea so that it's just crazy how it works it's a huge beast youtube's insane it's a huge beast uh it's hard to even tell sometimes why videos go viral sometimes they're just things just fall into place at the right time things are in the right spot all i know is you know you got to keep working on your channel and keep uploading content and like i said guys i don't want to keep rambling on and repeating myself i just want to share some helpful things i hope that that helps you guys out a little bit you guys definitely don't have to do it the way i do it at all but that's just something to think about so it takes a little bit of research and you need to look at your google analytics which is really good and watch what's going on with your videos you know you might want to find wh whatever's trending at the time use some titles that relate to what's trending and what's happening um, you know have good full descriptions that's how I do it again I fill these tags out I f like as much as I can you know to get any opportunity to help my video so again I think it just takes time a lot of hard work again Kurt Kurt's channel is pretty awesome here. So if you guys get a chance, go check it out. And they're really sharing a lot of content, a lot of vlogs. Some of it's kind of funny, and um, I appreciate it. I think what they're doing is great. So good good work to you guys. Thanks a lot for what you're doing. And you're going to see me probably doing some more vlogs too. I've just been busy lately, had a little bit of a cold. Um, I'll probably end up giving, you, giving Kurt a call, but... This video is kind of for everybody. I hope that helps people out who are trying to maybe work on their channel. It's just, it's hard when you're sharing any old title to what subscribers you have. It's just hard to get the views. Um, you got to take a look at your keywords. Uh, you know, often watch other YouTubers and see what and how they're doing it. But it does, all, all that stuff matters. So, I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope some of it was helpful. Um, Good luck. Uh, keep working on your channel, and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Have a good one.